What's the date today? July the 23rd. It's 1026. We got one of the best investigative reporters in the world, so he, he, I'm seeing he's taking notes, too. <laughs> yes, yes, he's sitting right here. Yeah. <laughs> we'll ask him to make some money, shall we? All right, hold on, everybody. I want you to check out this number, big number. The total is $782,000. That is how much 18 New Jersey lawmakers get every year in retirement checks, and that is in addition to their salaries as lawmakers. In fact, one of the biggest double dippers on the legislature's list is State Senator Frederick Madden, Jr. Joining us now is Mark Lagerquest, who uncovered all of this. He's with the New Jersey Watchdog. Why did we single out that one particular legislature there? Because he's getting a quarter million dollars a year, essentially. You're looking at somebody who gets $85,000 a year as a retired state police employee, also gets $49,000 a year as a state legislature, and then works as the Dean of Law and Justice at a public college, Gloucester State, uh, Gloucester County College, and he gets $111,000 from that. He's hardly retired. Okay. Now, if you work for the government of New Jersey, the state government, yes. you can retire at what, 50, 55? Well, depending on the pension plan, if, you, if you're in police, uh, you can retire as early as age 45. And then stand for election of some sort, and you get your pension at 45, 55, whatever, and then you stand for election, and if you win, you get that salary as well. That's double dipping in your terms. Right, that's double dipping in our terms. Now, they've closed the loophole a little bit so that people can't do it in the future, but there are still 18 lawmakers doing it now. The problem is, when you go to reform the system, when you go to reform double dipping, when you go to change a system that's $47 billion in debt, how are you going to pass a law when there's 18 legislators there to block it? What's, what's $47 billion in debt? Uh, in other words, that is the degree that the New Jersey Pension Fund is underfunded. That's the degree that actuaries say they cannot meet their obligations in the future. Okay. And you can't change it with these 18 lawmakers? Well, you can't. They haven't so far. It's buried in committee. How many, I mean, if, give me a number, how many roughly state workers, retired state workers in New Jersey, I live in New Jersey, Charles lives in New Jersey, how many make, say, more than $100,000 a year in retirement? In pen, well, what we have is, in terms of state retirees and the amount of pensions they get, or the, you know, the quantity, we call it the $100,000 club. And there's more than a couple of, a couple of thousand retired employees who get more than $100,000 a year. I'm not saying this is wrong. I'm simply saying that that's the amount of money that we're talking about. A couple of thousand people used to work for the government of New Jersey, the state, and now they're making more than $100,000 a year in retirement. And there's nothing to stop any of them going out and doing another job on the side, or full-time, whatever. They can exactly. do that. And many, of, and many of them actually go back to work for the state of New Jersey after they retire. Uh, we, lo we looked at, very quickly, we looked at uh, 80 retired state police. We did this story in uh, April. Out of 80 state police retirees, one-third went back to work for the state police, so they were getting a state oh, police pension <laughs> and, <laughs> a, uh, and plus a paycheck. But, but the good uh, news is that we, we did find something that was bipartisan <laughs> because I'm looking at your list R D R R R D D D R R D. I mean both parties that seem to be enjoying this one it's equal opportunity <laughs> double yeah. dipping greed knows no political party well I'm glad you uncovered this mark and come back and tell us more about retirement checks uh, doubled up elsewhere thank you very much indeed mark be glad to thank you okay sir uh,